All right, here for more insight, let's bring in former CIA intelligence officer Michelle Rigby Assad. Michelle, thank you so much for being with us. A lot to take in here. Uh, the so called secret Chinese police stations, we know they are not new. They've been operating for at least a year all across the globe. Uh, but the DOG, DOJ said today that these are the first arrests to be made in the entire world in connection to these secret stations. So, how big of a deal is this? This is a huge deal, Nicole, because up until now, the Chinese have largely been operating with impunity. And that, that might uh, surprise a lot of Americans because we think of them as using being proficient with cyber operations, but they have been active within the borders of our country from New York to California to Florida. Well, it's, it's, it's a bit hard to kind of wrap our minds around, around that. Why are, do you think these other countries haven't brought charges against these secret police stations, you know, which have been apparently operating uh, with immunity. Why is the U.S. now leading this charge? Well, you know, I think that, that we're having to educate ourselves in what Chinese intelligence operations look like. So we're really good at finding terrorists, but we haven't been able to pivot very well and understand because it's so brazen and it's right in front of our, our faces. The Chinese have been very good at taking advantage of our democracy and our very open society, our preference for diversity and inclusion. And so I think that's a, re a big reason why we haven't noticed a lot that, that's been going on right in front of us. Well, speaking of that, so the DOJ is saying essentially that most of these activities were aimed at harassing or retaliating against Chinese dissidents who live here in America. So do we know what I mean, what kind of harassment are we talking about? And is it anything that would rise to the level of criminal activity? Yeah, so I think it's very, it's much easier to prosecute on a technicality. It's harder to prosecute uh, complex intelligence operations. But the kinds of things that the Chinese regime has been doing um, to people that disagree with it and those dissidents is oftentimes they'll find their family members in China and they'll say, if you don't cooperate with us, we're going to you know, fire them. They're, we're going to make their children's lives in school. They're going to take away their opportunities. They might even put them in prison camps camps or under house arrest. And so a lot of people are intimidated, um, extorted, blackmailed into cooperating with the Chinese government because they're so concerned about their friends and family back home. Well, speaking of this intimidation and retaliation, what kind of response do you expect to see from China? Are we talking denial? Are we talking outrage or maybe something else? Yes, definitely outrage. There's going to be a lot of saber rattling, and they're going to seem very upset about the whole thing. We're probably going to see additional meetings that they're going to have with Russia to upset us, but that's okay. Like we just need to be stand strong and say this is not okay. We're going to investigate, investigate, and prosecute, and uh, we can't care too much about the saber rattling. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get. Get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.